day welcome this is your daily med with lady v as we continue to look at the blessings of salvation number one we talked about a blessing or that which is practical that which we get in this present life is peace with god number two we talked that this peace uh, through Jesus Christ has given us access uh, into his presence. We talked about our hope of glory. That is another blessing that we have in Jesus Christ. We talked about having victory through suffering, which leads uh, to perseverance. And perseverance, uh, which leads to character. And character that leads uh, to hope. The hope that make it one not be ashamed. And we talk about another blessing that because of all of this, we experience the love of God. And today, the scripture tells us that that love of God is poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit seals us. The Holy Spirit guides us. And so there is much blessings that we receive. Verse 5 again tells us, it says, Romans 5 and verse 5, it says, And hope make it not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. So another blessing of salvation, another blessing of justification is that God has given to us his Holy Spirit. And when we look at 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 21 and 22 for our lesson today, it says, Now ye which establish it us with you in Christ and hath anointed us is God who art also sealed us and given the earnest of the spirit in our hearts so as we read those two verses today second Corinthians 1 verse 21 through 22 it tells us four things that God confirms men in the faith. It tells us also that God anoints or endues with power. The Bible tells us that he seals men with the stamp of his ownership and he gives his spirit of sonship. So we know that we are always at again and we are always winning when we can truly understand what God through Jesus Christ did for us and the cross of Calvary and that in everything we do we are victors we are more than overcomers so let us not see ourselves as victim in this Christian pathway but as overcomers, as the scripture says, we are more than overcomers to him who love us. And it is God we know that love us. So his love is given by the Holy Spirit. Our passage today indicates that the Holy Spirit is given to all believers when they believe. This is without any distinction. The Holy Spirit. Spirit brings believers into fellowship, into the family of God. Romans 8 and 16, the Holy Spirit is our seal. The Holy Spirit in the believer's life helps to guarantee that he or she is a child of God. The Spirit himself, himself sorry, bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The Holy Spirit serves as a mark that we are truly belonging to Christ. 
So let's talk about the seal. It's a stamp. It shows ownership. When Jesus Christ was placed in the tomb, what did the king do? He puts his seal on it. If that seal is broken, then he would have known somebody tampered with that seal that is placed. But when God placed his Holy Spirit in our heart, nobody can break it. Nobody can tamper with it. He's saying to the child of God, know that you have believed, know that you have been justified. This is my deposit in you. This is my earnest in the heart that you are a Christian, that you are a child of God. So the Holy Spirit is God's claim on us as is very own. The Holy Spirit to believers is a down payment on our heavenly inheritance. That which Christ himself has promised, he secured it for us at the cross of Calvary when he gave his life a ransom for our sins. The Holy Spirit seals us. This assures us of our salvation. The Holy Spirit is given to the believer as a first instinct installment to assure us that our full inheritance as a child of God will be delivered. For those of us who enter into real estate transactions, when we want to say to the seller, I am an interested buyer, I want to buy your property, here is my earnest money. And we will put thousands of dollars in a check that is placed in an account to say, listen, this buyer is serious. Here is the earnest money as to say, listen, I want your property. And at the end of the day, I will come and get it. Jesus Christ has gone to prepare a place for us. And he says, I seal you with the Holy Spirit. This is my earnest money then, as it were, in your heart to say, I am coming back to get you. So the Holy Spirit is given to us to confirm to us that we belong to God. It is God who grants his spirit as a gift just like he has given us grace and faith. These are also gifts. And he produced hope and other desires which are evidence that we are accepted by God. We are his adopted children. God grants to us his Holy Spirit as a certain pledge that we are is forever and will be saved on the last day. So how do we have proof of this? It is evident by his presence or his operations on the heart. In the heart, he now produces repentance when we fall short of what we should be or should do. The Holy Spirit produces now in the life of the believer the fruit of the Spirit according to Galatians 5 verse 22 and 23. He produces obedience to God that we do his will, that we do his command, that we have love for God himself and love for our fellow men. So a seal communicates 
ownership, protection, and validation of the relationship. And it is because of the love of God in us through his Holy Spirit why we are now able to operate in a way that God wants us to and to experience the many blessings of salvation. God bless you today. If you have not yet received him, that which he did for you at Calvary, you can turn your heart over to him and allow him to have the lordship, the ownership of your life. God bless you. Thank you again for watching and may God continue to bless the youth.